another video so today is currently monday november monday november 6th it is the start of a new week this is gonna be a week in my life i haven't done a week in my life in a minute so that's what we're doing today i just left duncan and duncan released their new holiday menu or whatever so i tried the duncan loaded hash browns it's really just cheese and bacon on top and then i wanted to try the cookie butter cold brew but i went to two different duncans and neither one of them have like the foam that goes on top so i just got an iced latte with the cookie butter syrup so we're about to try this together y'all know i love me some dunk let me take a picture for the thumbnail okay i definitely see the vision but y'all know when i get my lattes i gotta put vanilla in it because this is not sweet enough on its own it's definitely good though i know with some vanilla it's gonna hit it's just a little strong i don't mind strong though so i can do that i can do that boom Let's see what these hash browns hit in five. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That is so good. Mmm. I know that's right, Duncan. Mmm. And shout out to my girl Gabby. Duncan on Gabby this morning. She sent me a gift card for my birthday. Shout out to you. I have not been like face to face just talk to y'all in a minute. And we have some things to catch up on, okay? We sure do. So, let me take another bite and then we'll talk. I haven't done... When's the last time I did a vlog? I mean, I did a vlog, but I deleted it because I really wasn't wasn't feeling it. And my last vlog, like, besides my travel vlog, because I don't feel like that's face-to-face -face talking to y'all, was three weeks ago. And this is probably my first time face-to-face -face talking to y'all. For real, for real, because it's just been... I, I don't want to say a lot going on because it's really not that deep, but it's just been... I've been in my head so much lately. So I'm going to just catch y'all up on tea. Just so we can get this out of the way and I can talk to y'all and vent to y'all about what's been going on. You can skip this if you like. But I really want y'all to pay attention. Because what I'm about to say is very, very important as to why I'm not making content. Why my content's not the same. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So recently, I've been getting a lot of DMs, messages, comments about how like my con my content hasn't been the same since I quit my job. I'm not relatable anymore. All this type of stuff. And there was some messages between me and this girl. I don't feel any type of way towards her. She was just generally stating how she felt along with a lot of other people. So I'm just going to read you guys her message and then I'm going to read you guys my message just so because this basically kind of sums up everything into one. She said, hey, I just wanted to text you as a supporter. I've seen your post saying how your content felt for so you're taking a break. I have seen a change in your content. When I first started watching you, I loved it because I could relate to you. The working a regular nine to five while doing content, keeping your life private, traveling, etc just living your life and after you quit your job i i don't know what she was saying after this i'm gonna skip that part but i do feel like the content started to look like the rest of the community i hope my message comes off the right way i mean no harm i'm just saying we need the authentic content in the world to shift the community and you were doing that don't give up take your time and recoup i love you you inspired me and that was very nice like some people come to my dms and come off crazy they'd be like oh your content is just like everybody else you suck now this this and that and it's just like very od like that was very that'd be very uncalled for but her message was really nice i responded back to when I, I i said at the end i hope this wasn't seen as coming off i just tried to explain myself the best i can um because this is i really i posted this on my spam too like my response to her just so everybody could understand like where i'm coming from so my response was hey babe i think everyone feels the same way but i generally don't live to make content i live for me i lost a lot of supporters when i quit my job and i knew that would happen a lot of people only liked that side of me because it was relatable and now a lot of people see me as unrelatable just because i don't work i'm not going to do things just to bring my content back to what it was i'm me before youtuber youtube is always a side hustle slash hobby for me real life always comes first i'm super aware my content is different and that's why i'm taking a break but right now i can't give y'all the relatable content again i'm living life for real and not worried about coming on youtube being relatable i just want to live which is why i'm gonna do that offline and then i told her like i hope i'm not coming off like i just tried to explain myself i just been getting a lot of criticism about how i'm not relatable anymore because i quit my job and i guess that's understandable but i really want y'all to understand i don't mean no harm when i'm saying this i don't do youtube to be relatable like some people just genuinely are relatable are related to me and they feel like we do the same things and stuff but the one thing everybody said that made me relatable was working a nine to five and now that i don't do that a lot of people don't relate to me which is okay i say this all the time i will never ever in my life change my lifestyle 
for YouTube. I'm just gonna, I'm recording to show y'all my life. I'm not gonna change my life just so I can have more people attached to me, more people can be related. No, I quit my job. I was happy with my decision. And if I'm not relatable, I'm just not relatable. You know what I'm saying? I guess a lot of people just gravitated to me due to the fact I was working a nine to five. And now that I'm not, I lost so many supporters. Like I'm really in my flop era right now, but it's just like, I just, I don't know. I quit my job, it's been a little bit over a month. And if you've been on my spam and stuff and keeping up with me, you know how much I've been miserable. Like I really don't want to come off the wrong way. I hate venting cause I feel like sometimes it sounds like I'm complaining or I'm like ungrateful, but I'm really just telling how I feel. Basically like ever since I quit my job and I become a full-time content creator, honestly y'all, I have hated it so bad I never had any interest of being a full-time content creator and I made that very clear in all my past videos I did not quit to become a full-time content creator but like I genuinely have no interest in doing this full-time like I feel like ever since I quit my job and started doing only this I've completely lost my love for YouTube like every time I pick up a camera I'm just irritated like today I feel like I'm kind of low-key getting back into it but the past month I've just not I'm really losing my love for YouTube y'all and I'm I feel like it's because I made it full-time once you make something you genuinely love a full time thing rather than keeping it as a hobby or like a monetized hobby a side hustle whatever it's really draining because now you're forced to do it no matter what you feel like and I'm not forcing myself to do nothing okay my last video I posted um I ended up deleting it but it was definitely forced and I hated it so bad I'm like girl why did you even post this like just take a break a break is needed you know what I'm saying I don't know me personally I know a lot of people have dreams and stuff of being a full-time content creator and I get that but for me it's just not for me I'd rather keep YouTube as like a side hustle and just do it on the side and have you know other stuff going on in life so with that being said I actually am looking for another job I've been applying y'all and everyone I've applied to I got denied <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say that because the job market is trash and I knew that like everything I'm saying I I knew it was gonna happen when I quit. I knew I was gonna lose supporters. I knew it was gonna be hard to get another job, but I'm not rushing it, you know what I'm saying? As bad as I want another job, as bad as I want another job, I'm not gonna rush it. Um, I really, truly, genuinely am so ready to go back to work. It's only been a month. I told myself I was gonna take three months. <laughs> baby i'm ready to go i obviously not back to the same job i really just want to get out the house y'all and get back productive and get back on my stuff another thing i want to talk about i was supposed to be taking another trip tomorrow back to my hometown to go see my family kick it with them because i feel like that's really what i need at this very moment is to just go back home for a little bit but i actually canceled my flight y'all because i'm tired of traveling i've only been on two trips back to back and i'm tired i don't want to look at another airport for another month i'm tired i just got off eight flights y'all in the past week i've been on eight flights tired i don't know how people be traveling all the time but baby i don't want to do that so i canceled my flight they gave me credits back so i can rebook whenever i want to and i was also supposed to go from my hometown to another state to go apartment hunt y'all know i don't like to talk about stuff before it happened but i'm honestly not even looking to move anytime soon anymore like i kind of just opened my eyes y'all know in the girls talk video i talked briefly about wanting to move and but i feel like the internet rushed me and stuff and now that i'm kind of like I don't really need validation, but I feel like the comments gave me a lot of validation and a lot of encouraging words, and it made me feel like, girl, why are you trying to rush? Just sit down. So I've just decided to stay at home, y'all. That's what life is right now. Honestly, I'm just looking for a new job. That's really what's going on right now. It's all gonna come together, so that's why I'm not really stressing. I kinda just wanna step back on YouTube a little bit because I was getting a lot of feedback. It was kinda overwhelming because everybody was saying the same thing, like, you're not relatable anymore. Your content starts to look like everybody else's because genuinely speaking this coming from a youtuber myself all the full-time content creators the content looks exactly the same all, all all we do and i'm including myself in this i'm not putting the finger at nobody all we do is go to target go home do a reset you know travel do this do that it all looks the same so i get where everybody was coming from but i wasn't really looking at my videos like that like like i told you i just pick up my camera and show y'all my life like i don't do things to be like oh yeah well i'm not gonna lie i do that sometimes i'm like oh yeah this will hit for the vlog but I just record my life that's it like I'm genuinely showing y'all my life so if it's not relatable I can understand that but I'm just showing y'all how I live my everyday day to life day to day life so I'm here to just show y'all my life as a 21 year old girl who's in her solo era who's confused about life who doesn't know what she wants to do and I'm just bringing y'all along that journey with me you know I have my group of people at the end of the day and I know that group of people is only going to continue to grow and I know some people are going to outgrow me some people are not going to like my content anymore after I go back to work or once I stopped working that's okay with me like I just want to put that out there because I've been getting so much comments and feedback y'all I feel like I really just had to speak on this that was really all I had to get off my chest this morning it is currently 
currently 9.04 in the morning. I really don't have a plan on what I want to do today. I'm right across the street from Target. I really want to go spend some money, y'all. Like I told y'all, I just got back from vacation. I have not seen a Target in a minute. I haven't been to a Dunkin'. I haven't been nowhere. I'm sorry to talk your head off. You can really skip this part if you want because it's really not talking about nothing. But one thing I've learned, I'm really starting to learn how important it is to spoil yourself, to go on vacation, to have fun in your 20s. Like, y'all, we are so young. Y'all know, in my head, all I used to talk about was work. All I wanted to do was go to work. I will be going back to work. Don't get that confused. Like, but it's so important to spoil yourself. Spend spend your money. Don't spend all your money. Save some money. But it's so important to just go buy yourself something nice. Go do a little shopping spree. Go out of town. Go take a road trip. Go to the party. Go to the bar. Go to the club. Oh, it's just healing a part inside of me, y'all. Like, that's exactly what I needed was to just take a load off my shoulders stop overthinking everything and just go have fun for a little bit we're gonna go to target so i'm gonna see you at target hey y'all i'm in target i'm in the face wash section i need to re-up it's about that time this is a bigger bottle this is <laughs> i mean let me see for another like three dollars should i get the bigger one because it takes me a while to run through this so i think we'll just get the bigger one for 15. And this is the moisturizer I use, but y'all, this jar will last you well over a year. 15 as well, and then the hyaluronic acid I use, but I'm switching to good molecules because this is just mad expensive, and the bottle is OD tiny. I'm filming a mini vlog. These are all like the regular ones. This one, y'all, this one stinks so bad. Everybody be hyping it up. It smells horrible. Yeah, they don't really have any. Ooh, winter wonder. I didn't bring my tripod, so. They're just starting to stink at this point. Let me see, is there anything else I wanna try? I'm obsessed with CeraVe, y'all. Like, I'm a CeraVe girl. It's the only thing that's really comes on me, right? But I'm gonna stick to what I know because every time I try something new, it don't work. All right, I'm in oral hygiene. So I need some new toothbrushes. I just used my last, so I opened my new one today. I do switch mine out like monthly. I know everybody does it a little bit different, but I do monthly. So I think I want to invest in like a good toothbrush and not just my little dollar ones. <laughs> I don't want one of them electric ones. I don't like that. I'm gonna just get a regular one. I'm gonna get a pack. This girl's never that serious. These are the ones I usually use, but they're too soft for me. These are the Target brand. I'm gonna just get an Oral-B one. They got purple, this is cute. And it says medium, so it's probably a little bit on the rougher side. I've been wanting to pick this up for the longest, but I just never have. This is the Method Body Coconut Rice Milk and Shea Butter. I feel like this will actually go really good with that lotion I just picked up. I like to stay stocked up on my Dove bars. I always buy like a four or six or eight pack. I'm gonna do the four packs. I have some at home, I think. I'm gonna do Dove Sensitive Skin. This is the one I do, and then Dove Original. I'm a Dove girl for life. I don't care what y'all say. I really don't need a new body wash but everybody says antibacterial is a lot better for you than just like regular body wash or the ones like that we use because they smell good i mean there's two different ones y'all i think they're just different um packaging i think it's the same thing and then i think i'm good on shaving cream but i'm gonna just show y'all the one i use this is the shaving cream i use it's the 24 hour moisture eos vanilla bliss she's fire i like these flamingo ones though y'all and y'all said they was bad but i like them i think i'm gonna pick up a new pad pink of course yeah, I'm getting these. And then I need a new deodorant. I feel like I'm one of those people where I have to switch my deodorants because after a while they stop working. Or is that like a delusion in my head? I use, right now I use Dove. I think I'm gonna switch to Degree and see what Degree. They have Secret, Degree, Native. I heard Native is trash. I'm not even gonna try with that. So I think I'm gonna, the, and the spray ones don't work for me either. I have to use the, the like the, the stick. I think that's it for hygiene, y'all. What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? You don't know. You don't know why you're crying. You, you won't even let me pick you up. Queen back. Target haul. But before I show y'all what I got, let me show y'all what I got from Target before I left for vacation. I wasn't vlogging or nothing, so I got the pink Stanley, y'all. Look how cute this is. This is light pink with hot pink. Yeah. The water just tastes so much better coming out of here. I always tell myself I would never pay $45, $50 for a cup like that. But when I seen this colorway, baby, I gave right on it. Y'all have pretty much seen all the hygiene stuff I got. I got face wash, this Method Body Body Wash, a new toothbrush, and then I picked up these, what are they called? Wax melts. This smells so fresh and so clean. It's deodorant. 
razors, Dove, original Dove sensitive skin, Dove antibacterial. If y'all can't tell, I'm very much a Dove girl. This Nivea vanilla and almond oil. And I went ahead and picked up some Stella Rose. We tried Stella Rose. Oh, it's Stella Rose. I swear to God, y'all, everybody says Stella Rose. Um, I tried Stella Rose, Stella Peach, and I don't like this. It's not bad, but it tastes like a flat peach soda. It doesn't, I don't know. I feel like for me, I want more of like a sweet wine rather than whatever this was. So I bought Stella Rosa Black. Everybody said this is really sweet. It's really good. It's like a berry flavor. And I'm pretty sure I like this a lot more. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge because I like my wine cold. I'm gonna just replace this with that one. Replace this with that one. Replace this with this one. So that's my Target haul. I'm about to... Um, I need to unpack. I got back from vacation yesterday. I spent the night in Atlanta at Honesty's house. And then I just got back home yesterday in the afternoon. And when I was on my plane, I put an air tag in my luggage every time I travel, y'all. Because y'all know that the airport be saying they be losing your stuff. This is like, please don't play with me because I'll go get it myself. I know where it's at. I got my air tag. And when I landed on my flight, when we was landing, I checked my air tag. My air tag is not, it's not with me. <laughs> It's still at the airport. So they delivered me my bag this morning to my house. They had to send it out on the next flight later that night and then deliver it to my house this morning. So I literally just got my luggage this morning. Like I came home with absolutely no luggage, y'all. Isn't that crazy? Um, that was my first time flying with Southwest and they automatically gave me like a bad taste in my mouth. It's not that bad of an airline, but for y'all to forget my luggage at the airport <laughs> and not put it on the plane, how does that even happen? I'm gonna go ahead and unpack, wash clothes, just straighten up my room, stuff like that. I just, I'm long overdue for a reset. And I also wanna get back in the gym today. I've been feeling very insecure, especially after coming back from vacation, like wearing bikinis and stuff and just not really being comfortable with my body no more. So it's really time to lock in. I know I say this all the time and never lock in, but it's trial and error, y'all. This is real life. I'm never coming on here to fake the funk. I might go to the gym for a week straight and never go back until another three months. So. That's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead, get this room clean, unpack, and get a little reset going. That says 11.27, but the time did change yesterday or the day before, but I'm getting a little hungry, so I'm gonna take a lunch break. I'm not eating out at this very moment. My mom made food yesterday. Yeah, yams, greens, ham, and mac and cheese. So I'm about to make me a plate. Y'all know, look at my nails. And they're just lifting, like long nails. I don't know. I've been having so much trouble with my nails. I know I'm probably gonna say switch your nail tech cause I don't know, but this was a feel. Y'all know that black set I had on for my birthday? It lasted, I didn't break a single nail. But with this set, it's literally just a feel. All my nails are lifting. So I'm about to go get them soaked off and I booked a nail appointment for tomorrow for short French chips because these long nails, I'm not about to keep paying money just to keep breaking them. Like long nails is so much more expensive than shorties. So yeah. So I'm about to go, once I finish eating, I'm gonna go to the nail shop and get a soak off just so I can get it out the way for today because my appointment is tomorrow. So, yeah. Just left the nail shop, your girl is bare. Yeah, I just left the nail shop, so I'm about to go ahead and head over to the car wash. My car is filthy AF. I just got back home. I haven't driven my car in about a week. And this bird shits 
all over my car. It's all over my car, y'all. And I, I can't keep looking at it. But um, I do have like a a membership at the car wash. I'm about to go through real quick. Um, my car on the inside is actually very clean. So I don't need to do nothing with that. I just need to run through the car wash and put this hoe back in the garage because these birds is not going to keep doing my K5 like this. Zip weed, hit the club, pay for about 10 niggas to get in. We crunk, lit, any bitch. Yeah. No, we walk around the world. Stepping out, giving a damn about where our feet land at. Yeah. Get your ass mushed, smushed. Yeah, one of my biggest. Put a nigga in the chicken man. Pussy. All right, y'all, I'm back home. I'm about to talk really fast because my battery is about to die. But I'm in the bed, um, just about to edit my Punta Cana vlog. This is my thumbnail. She ate. It's so cute. But I'm about to edit. It is currently 1.29. I'm really about to try to lock in and focus. So I start at 1.30, and I'm going to come back to y'all once I'm done. And we'll see how long it takes. I just finished my video, y'all. CapCut has been lagging extremely bad. Like, I was starting my video, and then um, it would just slow down, so I exited out of CapCut. Then when I went back, it said my files weren't working. They got very staticky, and I don't know. It was just, I had to keep restarting over and over and over again. I was editing for six hours. I took like a 30 minute break, but that's it. I've been editing this whole entire time. So if I take a long time with this video, y'all know why, because I don't want to edit no more. It's going up now, it's at 21%, it's uploading. So we're just gonna put that to the side. I did get two packages while I was gone. I'm gonna show y'all, I got a wig from Ally Pearl. I think I worked with them a long time ago. Their wig band is so cute, look at that, it's sparkly. My nail tech literally just texted me right when I pulled my camera out and she asked to reschedule my appointment. <laughs> but I'm so glad I finally got a wig other than black. Like that's all the wig companies have been sending me. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for a free wig always. But like I want to try something different. And this is why I sent her on how I want to style. So a side part with some curls. That'll be real cute, real cute, real fine. I got some Chanelis. <laughs> I got some Chanelis. If you know, you know. I don't even know what color I put in for. I can't remember. That's what they look like. They really just look like a regular shoe with a, with a Chanel symbol. They really don't look like nothing special, but this is why I just be buying the dupes, y'all, because the real thing don't be nothing special in my opinion. It's cute, though. But that's all the packages I got. I was going to go to the gym tonight, but I'm not. Only because I'm, I am I thought about it real hard. I need to start going to the gym in the morning, especially if I want to set a routine. I've always had trouble with going to the gym in the morning because I just get so sleepy. But I feel like in order to set the tone for my days from here on out, I need to start you know start off productive start off strong i will see you guys in the morning good morning y'all it's the next day i slept um i woke up at six i'm like girl why'd you up i stayed up for like an hour though because i couldn't fall back asleep but then i fell back asleep until nine like 9 40. so i'm well rested it is currently 10 36 now y'all can't see that um i was supposed to have my nail appointment today but she pushed me back to tomorrow which is fine because i really don't have too much going on today today is kind of like a chill day so i got dressed for the gym i just have on this black jacket from target and i have on black leggings and my sneakers but before i went to the gym i wanted to go ahead and pull up to the grocery store and pick up some energy drinks because i'm not really i don't know nothing about pre-workout or nothing like that y'all know i'm not a gym girl that i've never been i always go for like a week stop going don't go again for another couple months i'm really trying to get into better habits but it is so hard the gym is kind of a little bit easier for me to go it's just hard for me to stay consistent like right now i'm not really focused on eating healthy better eating habits because that's going to be more so on the harder side for me we're going to start small and simple take things one by one and i just try to throw everything you know what i'm saying at once but i went ahead and picked up some energy drinks i picked up four i got the alani mimosa this one is good and i got alani arctic white i've never had this one so i got these two i went ahead and picked up two celsius i got white peach and sparkling strawberry guava because i definitely need it like i'm well rested but like my body is just like girl lay back down but we we can't do that today 
So today on the agenda, I really don't have too much. I'm not really like productive, productive today. It's just like, um, I wanna go to the gym, come back, take a nice shower, change clothes, get ready for the day. Cheers. And y'all, let me show you. I love drinking these with the straw. I don't know why, with the glass straw. And I have found, I'm just all about a cute aesthetic. I have found these straws on Amazon I ordered last night. They're gonna be here tomorrow. Y'all see, they have little butterflies on them. And I'm just going to, like, it's, don't y'all see the aesthetic? You probably don't, but it's okay. But, yeah, we're going to head to the gym for today. I'm going to bring y'all along with me if there's nobody in there. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to see y'all at the gym. Hey, y'all, I'm back. I just got out the shower. I feel nice and clean. Um, the gym was nice. I stayed in there for about 45-ish minutes. I'm going to go ahead and straighten my room up, make my bed. I feel like that's something I need to start doing first thing in the morning is making my bed just so I like don't try to get back in, get up under the covers, you know what I mean? Hanging out with one of my friends. So I'll probably try to film a little bit for y'all, try the food with y'all that we're going to eat. But otherwise, I'm just gonna be chilling for a little bit. I still haven't planned like my week out. I think I'll try to do that and try to fit it in if I'm on a good time schedule. But I just wanna check in and come update y'all. So I'm gonna see y'all a little bit later. Hey you guys, we are at this, is it faux or pho? Pho restaurant. I got crab and shrimp. What'd you do? Spicy beef noodle. She taught me how to use chopsticks, but I always forget, so. I think I remember. My middle finger goes in the middle. Yes. I'm not picking nothing up. I'm supposed to. What do you mean? That was a lot. There you go. Yeah. Period. <laughs> this is good, though. This one has more flavor than the other one we tried. The downtown one? Mm-hmm. We're gonna add some chili oil, y'all. Is that a lot? You're gonna fucking die. Wait, 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 wait. Use your spoon. I don't have one. For you. Oh. You're gonna die. I put too much? Yeah. Just, <laughs> just test out a little bit and see how much you like it. Okay. I and think then, that's good now. And then add it back. <laughs> yes, it's not bad. Then change the color. Add a lot of stuff. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to eat. See y'all later. I just left the Apple store. I really didn't even, I went in there cause my, my iPhone broke. My 12 Pro Max, that was my backup phone, it broke. And I was like, y'all need to fix this. But he said it's basically unfixable. So I can't get that fixed. So then the dude last time said something was wrong with my 14. I'm like, well, I'm not gonna be walking around with two broken phones. So let's just get a new one. And that's what I did. Let me show y'all my um Apple haul. I got, an iPhone 15 Pro Max in white. Um, I wanted that gray, dark gray color, but they didn't have it, so I just got white. I also got an Apple Watch, because I don't know if I told y'all, they stole my Apple Watch in Vegas. One of the housekeepers stole my Apple Watch. So, I had to get a new watch. This is my early Christmas gift to myself. This won't just a random purchase. It really was, though, but we're gonna act like it wasn't. And then, I had to buy one of these, because they said they changed the box of the of the watch in total we didn't spend that much money i didn't spend i feel like if you buy this much stuff you spend over a thousand dollars at the apple store i didn't spend nowhere i probably spent i didn't spend a thousand dollars but i traded my old phone in so i'm literally phoneless right now y'all so i have to figure out how to get home so i have to learn how to work my car my bad i'll see you guys back at home all right y'all we're gonna unbox together. And then I still have my 12 Pro Max. This is the one they said was completely broken. Um, he put in the computer for testing and he said like it's not coming back. They could repair it, but it would cost $500. So, so I got my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I like the big phones, y'all. I've had a 12 Pro Max, um, 14 Pro Max, 15 Pro Max. I like the bigger ones. Even though the Plus was the same size, I feel like I've gotten used to the three cameras. This is she. Oh my god, it feels so light. They won't lie when they said that. Y'all, this feels OD light. It's white. But these are, these compared together. This is a 12 Pro Max. This is a 15. Pretty much the same exact look. So we're going to go ahead and set her up. Tell me what you see in me 
gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is nothing. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, trifling, difficult. Let go. I don't know why you. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I got my coffee in my little Punta Cana cup. I got on vacation. This is so cute. I made my coffee at home. Been a minute since your girl has made coffee at home. I've been dunking, dunking, dunking. So it is currently eight o'clock on the dot. I did wake up at 6.45. Did I go to the gym? No, I did not. I've been trying to set up this Apple Watch because I felt like why well, go to the gym and I have the Apple Watch ready to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go though. We're gonna make it to the gym, but I just got myself together. I got ready, brushed my teeth, my clothes. Oh, I've been filming for a TikTok as well. So I'm ready to start my day. First things first is these nails. Um, I'm still debating on black or white French chips. I think I'm leaning more towards white because my toes are still white French chips. So I feel like that just matches better. And I just did white my last set. That's all I know is black and white French chips. Like I will never let that go. That's all y'all gonna see, I promise you. <laughs> black or white French chips. My appointment is at nine o'clock. It's 8.02 now, so I'm gonna be heading out shortly. Um, I was trying to make content for this outfit because this is from the fence, y'all. Y'all know it has a pocket on the butt. Oh, it's not actually a pocket. The side pockets have zippers. You can zip up and down. And I just think this is so cute. It fits perfect. I don't know what size I got, but I'm gonna try to put up the screen for y'all. This is like me. Y'all know I'm a pink girl. Otherwise, I'm gonna hit y'all at my nail appointment. <laughs> If you see me and you tryna see what's up yeah. He wanna fuck with me then I'ma have him stuck yeah. Bitch looking bad and got a stupid black yeah. Jewelry on your wrist, fuck it, hold it up yeah. When I holla ski, let me pull up yeah. Call 10 and 5 and they fast as fuck yeah. I'm looking good when I'm hopping out that truck yeah. Where the hood niggas said they get them bucks yeah. Been clean but we run dirty Slime with your boo, yeah that's my dirty y'all seen i just got short frenchies they just look so cute and classy and glossy i'm obsessed ain't got no more clackers but it's okay so i'm about to eat my salad from chick-fil-a that i ordered yesterday if you don't eat cob salad from chick-fil-a with avocado lime ranch you're not eating the salad right 11 31 queen has a haircut at y'all don't know i be saying that like y'all everybody know who queen is queen is my dog queen has a haircut at 12 30 but last night i was up applying for jobs i've applied to about 10 last night so we shall see if i get any emails and i know for a fact this salad is not about to fill me up and i'm not really a snacker like it's either a full meal or nothing i'm not gonna... once you put the dressing on close the lid shake it up make sure you throw it around a little bit so it so it really get everywhere chick like cop salad is so good but anyway, y'all, uh, I think while Queen's getting her hair cut, I'm gonna go ahead and film a what's in my iPhone video. Everybody's been requesting it, but honestly, I didn't think people genuinely watch those anymore. But I was looking them up on YouTube and people people who buying them 15s is literally trending right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the trend. But I just really have no interest in filming it, but I'm gonna still film it. Everybody's been requesting it. I'm just like, I just don't understand the hype. I feel like... I don't know. I just, I don't get it, but I'm gonna film it. I'm about to sit here and enjoy my salad. I'm gonna hit y'all. Probably once I drop her off. When all your baddy friends, boo, let's go to church. Bad bitches around the world better grab your one. She like lemon drops and like the open toe has sandals. Let me see if I can get off right here. Y'all, I'm in traffic. My stomach do this turning. I feel sick without ya. And it was all for you. It was all for you. Grandma, pray for your baby. More money, more people with their money problems. Looking for you to solve them, but I thank God for the dough. Thank you, God, I thank you for everything you gave to us. I'm 
taco pack like them playoffs game. Y'all probably hear Queen breathing mad loud. Look at her. Look at her fur. She's bald. Ah! Oh, look at this. She don't have no hair. She gonna be cold. It's getting cold outside. Done getting her hair cut. They gave her a, um, a progress report to tell me how she did. Um, it says the bath, she loved it. The brush, she loved it. Blow dry, learning to love it. Haircut, she loved it. Nails, paws, ear, and teeth care. Getting used to it. I'm about to take her home. Well, I'm about to go home too. And let my food settle in, and then we gonna hit the mother freaking gym, okay? All right, y'all, ignore the mess in the background, but I'm about to go to the gym. Um, today I'm gonna focus on core. Because that's really my only issue. Like, y'all probably like, girl, you're skinny. Like, this right here is my issue. And it really got bad when I looked back at the pictures of me on vacation. It's actually kind of sickening. But there's been, like, a lot of people who are, like, commenting on my body and how I'm gaining weight and stuff. Like, I can see that, okay? I just, I know people on the internet gonna say whatever they want, but, like... How many on another female body is just like, come on now. Like, I see it. You see it. I see it. I'm trying to just deal with it. Um, it's hard. It's not as easy as people make it seem to stay. Like, that's when I realized, like, I didn't post none of these. Because in all of them, like, you could just see my rolls and my stomach hanging out. I've been, I'm so glad winter's coming up so I could wear, like, the big baggy clothes, the sweatsuits. We're going to work on it. I really just really want to focus on core and stuff. But I know, of course, like other stuff comes along with it like eating good and stuff like that but like I told y'all that's like the harder part for me like I'm just that's the hardest part for me getting up and going to the gym is not the hard part staying consistent yeah that could be a little bit hard but the hardest part for me is letting go of that junk food like when I tell you that's all I know that's all I know that's gonna be the hardest part that's why I'm not even trying to take it there yeah I just want to focus on the gym first after the gym we can slowly start trying to eat better but I'm not trying to just throw myself you know, throw myself all in it at once because then it's not going to work. I know myself. <laughs> so I'm going to see y'all after the gym. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. It is currently 8.41 in the morning. I've been up since like 7.30, but I've just been chilling. I'm about to go ahead and open up my computer because I'm about to go ahead and edit the video. I think I was telling y'all about last night or yesterday how I started filming the what's on my iPhone. I didn't do any editing last night, so I'm about to go ahead and lock in real quick. This video should not take me too long, so I'm about to just try to start and finish it and get it posted today. Today's Thursday. So, I need to go ahead and knock this out so I can focus on this video next. Um, I did go ahead and get me an energy drink. I got me Mimosa Alani, and then I got my little, hold on, my little orange butterfly straw. This is so cute, y'all. I'm only drinking this because after I finish editing, I'm going to go ahead and go to the gym. So, I do need that energy boost for today. Um, I do also today want to focus on cleaning my closet out. My closet is filthy. I have clothes I don't wear. I just need to, my closet is a mess. And I'm going to show y'all when we get to it. It's an absolute mess. So, like I told y'all, I am redoing my room soon here. Um, I did have to postpone that because apparently my phone and my Apple Watch was more important. I don't know. I still live paycheck to paycheck just like everybody else. And YouTube don't pay nothing but once a month. I got to keep it cool, calm, cute, and collected until payday come around. But... Once payday do hit, then I'm going to start focusing on my room. But right now, I just want to start cleaning it out, getting rid of everything I don't want. So it makes the process easier when I bring all my furniture in and, you know, redoing the actual room. I'm about to just sit here, work on this video. And then once I finish with the video, we're going to go ahead and hit the gym. So once I'm done editing, I'm going to come back and talk to y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm about to head out to the gym. Yeah, I've been so tired today. Like, I finished editing around 11 and I got the video scheduled and ready to go up to post today at 5 but I finished that all around 12. It's currently 3.09 and I'm just now getting out of the bed. That was my first mistake I feel like was staying in the bed to edit instead of getting up going to the gym coming back showering and then editing because me editing the bed it always ends with me being lazy and staying in the bed so that was my first mistake but we learning. I'm telling y'all, this video is really me just learning how to stay in routine and get in routine. So I've never really, I don't know, I've never really had a routine. I've always just, I mean, I feel like when I was working, yeah, get up at this time, get ready, go to work. But like, now that I'm not working, it's been hard to get in a routine. So this is kind of me just like learning 
figuring it out, figuring out what works for me, figuring out what don't. Obviously, waking up and staying in the bed to edit does not work. So I'm about to go ahead and hit the gym now for the day, come back, shower. I don't know if I'm gonna clean my closet anymore. <laughs> But we'll see what I feel like doing once I get back from the gym. So it's currently 3.10 now. I'm about to head to the gym and I'm going to see y'all once I'm back. Good morning, y'all. I look an absolute mess. But I woke up about 30 minutes ago and got straight up out of the house. Because yesterday I was in the bed all day. Today we is not repeating that. I literally have nothing on the agenda, but I'm not going to stay in the house all day. So my first stop of the day. So I went to a different Dunkin' because y'all know the Dunkin's I've been going to haven't been having the cookie butter cold brew. But this one has it so I can finally try it. I'm going to show y'all. I got a medium and I added three cream because if you don't add cream, it literally comes like a black coffee. So keep that in mind, okay? Also got the hash browns that I had last time. I really want to drink with a straw, but I feel like I need to get the full effect with the foam on top. This is fire! Oh my god! It tastes kind of like I don't know. I'm getting graham cracker vibes. Or or y'all know when you're on an airplane and they give you those Biscoff cookies. I think that's exactly what it's supposed to taste like. Cause that's like the foam on top makes it sweet, but once you get past the foam, it's not really that sweet. So I'm gonna have to add something else next time because I feel like it's not sweet enough for me. Like once you drink that foam with the coffee, it's good, but when you just take a sip of the coffee, it's not really all that sweet. So I feel like it needs maybe some liquid sugar. Y'all, I was kind of in a phase where I was just like over Dunkin' and Starbucks and I didn't want none of it. All they needed was to come out with a new drink and some new hash browns. And I'm back locked in. I don't care what... Ooh, they loaded that up today! And I haven't been to Starbucks, y'all. I haven't been to Starbucks. I've been to Starbucks once. And then some girl in my comments was like, um, we boycotting Starbucks and I didn't even know. So I haven't been back yet. But my Dunkin' is lo locally owned. So <laughs> Mmm, it was so good. Mm. I'm about to head back to the house. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably... I need to do my closet, y'all. I just don't have the energy. I don't know how y'all don't be liking coffee. What be wrong with y'all? Did y'all... See, look, this be the thing. In order for you to like coffee, you had to grow up with your grandparents. Mm -hmm, that's what it was. You had to be taking sips of your grandma coffee. First thing in the morning. That's what it was. Because I, I know the girls that grew up with their grandparents, they get it. We was... We was 8, 9, 10 out on the porch drinking coffee. Hot coffee at that. I don't know why I'm so talkative this morning. I got a good night's sleep, y'all. I sure did. I'm ready to get my day started. I think we're going to clean the closet out because that's very needed. I'm about to head back home and then um, once I figure out what I'm going to do, it really needs to be that closet. So once I figure out what I'm going to do for the day, I'm going to come hit y'all. All right, y'all. I'm back home. We're about to enter my closet. It's so bad. I can't even open the door for me. So this is my closet. <laughs> I know it looks really, really bad. It's been a while since I've like organized it. Um, half of these clothes I'm probably gonna get rid of like I don't even wear. And this up here is a complete wreck. I don't have dressers or anything. I just need to organize the top of this. Like it's just like pants, sweatpants, shorts, my matching sets, leggings. It's just all that that can't really. I mean, it could go on a hanger, but it's better off to leave this as like shirts and sweatshirts. And then keep all this and stuff that I can fold. Uh, this is a bag of clothes from when I last tried to get my closet together, which was months ago. Uh, behind the door is... <sighs> Child, I don't even know. This is so bad. Then I have a shoe rack. I have two shoe racks, actually. Um, yeah, and I have too many shoes. These are all dirty clothes because I put these in the hamper so we can clear some space up. But all, yeah, as y'all can see, I have so many Crocs. Y'all probably never seen me wear Crocs. Like, girl, it's tough for I haven't wore yet. My LV bag. Like, this is a wreck. So, it's mandatory we handle this today. So, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to give y'all, like, progress updates and stuff. But this is what we're working with, y'all. So, pray for me. Hey, y'all. It's a little bit later. I just finished my closet. And when I tell you I'm drained, that was my workout for today. I don't care what nobody say. I'm not doing nothing else today. That was... So I also cleaned my room in the process because I was just throwing everything on the floor, throwing everything on the floor. But it's like, girl, you can't just leave all that stuff on the floor. So my room is also clean. Ignore that box. That's just a bunch of clothes I still need to go through from Sheen. I vacuumed my floor. Um, I don't have nowhere to put this bag. So it's... Yeah. Y'all, do y'all see the floor now? Um, I fit both of my suitcases in here. Um, so that's perfect. So then I'm in my room just sitting around. 
We have this big gap for clothes now. I think when I showed y'all before, it was completely full almost. So we have this big this big gap. The top really doesn't look much better, but I just kind of reorganized everything. This is just leggings. These are all my matching like loungewear sets, like my Skims dupes. Um, jeans, black jeans, camo, sweatpants, pajama pants, and that stuff that like can't be hung. And then all my clothes. And I got my shoes organized. I need, it's like I need another shoe rack because everything don't fit. Um, and I have another shoe rack over here, like underneath all these clothes. But it, the clothes are kind of covering it up. And then my suitcases, my neck pillow. This is like my travel stuff all in one corner, which is perfect. And then this big Telfer bag is just filled with a bunch of dust bags for all my purses. This looks a mess, I know, y'all. It's literally not going to get any better. And then the reason I couldn't close the door, it wasn't because the mess back here. I mean, it kind of was, but it's because of all these purses on the door. And to be real with y'all, I'm not getting rid of none of them. So that's going to stay the way it is. I know it looks an absolute atrocious mess, but my room is literally not big enough. Buying organizers and doing all this and that. I'm not too big on like decorating, decorating, like buying organization bins, making my closet like a, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really too big on that because like this is just living in somebody else's space this is just like a for now thing so i'm gonna just keep it cute and simple i feel like that's good enough for me i'm not really trying to make a whole big closet transformation it's, it's not that deep as long as my clothes got somewhere to go i'm happy um but the next thing we are gonna do is work on this room i have picked out my bed i picked out my nightstand i got some decor in my amazon uh in my amazon cart so i really just have to check it out i think i'm waiting until black friday though or cyber monday to catch all the deals I possibly can and save myself a pretty coin. Today's the 10th, I think, or the 9th. So Black Friday is in less than two weeks. So, I mean, I can wait. I'm really not in much of a rush, but I'm super excited to get this room. Like, feeling like me, get my TV mounted, get all this stuff I don't want out of here. So, yeah, the closet was like the first step. But now that the closet's done, I feel like the hardest part is out the way. I probably like, girl, the hardest part. Because, yeah, my bed coming and stuff, I'm not putting that together. <laughs> I'm not doing none of that. So, my hardest part is out the way. I think I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out here. I know I didn't show y'all like me cleaning my closet and that's probably what y'all what would have liked to see but I was in mode. I was in go mode and I was procrastinating a lot. Like I took so many breaks. That's why it took me so long. It's like four o'clock y'all. Yeah it's four o'clock. I just got out the shower because after cleaning I just feel like sweaty and icky. I got to hop in the shower as soon as I finish. So my bad for that. I know I probably want to see like a behind the scenes. I ain't really been talking to y'all these last two days, but I ain't really been doing too much. And that's just the reality of it. Every day ain't full of stuff. Every day I don't want to spend money. Every day I don't want to leave the house. I know I'm trying to get into routine. I might have failed, but it takes progress, okay? But yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next video.